This is a video of the function of the Viper Remote 3305V, the newer model of the remote. This is the startup when you put the battery in. As you know, the sound or the alert is pretty loud. This is how loud it goes. This is the startup. Alright, I'm pause the video or put the cover first. We'll be right back. Okay, so I put the cover back on already. There's not that much key functions, only like a couple things. Just your arm for lock, unarm, unlock, trunk, aux, panic button. And to silent unlock, you just push aux, lock, silent unlock, aux, unlock. And when you start, put the battery in, when you first get the remote and you put the battery in, you realize that the light's not working. So what you do is, you push this, hold on for a couple seconds until you hear a beep. Then you push the unlock to turn on the light. So, on, off, on, off, on. And this is for the, the, the lock. It's for the sound alert. So, this is sound, vibrate, sound and vibrate, and no sound. I leave it on vibrate because it get loud and annoying. And when you leave it alone for a couple seconds, the it's gonna set everything, set the setting for you. So that beep is mean that your setting that you just put is set. So now everything works. So now you push it, the lights turn on and stuff. Yeah, and that's basically it. Okay, I forgot to mention about the the P to change the channel. The remote have four channels for four, so you can program it to four different cars. So number one is your car. Number two is like any other car. If you have any other Viper system in another car, you can program this remote for it too. I don't know how to program it. I gotta find a video on YouTube how to do it. So to change channel, right now it's on number one. You just hold the the P button a couple of times. It should change it to number two. Number three. Number four. And then go back to number one. There. See? I also forgot to mention that if you have on like channel like number two, like because your card number one, so you have a number two, and you push your thing, and you're wondering why your car not unlocking, that means it's not programmed, it's not set for your car. You gotta put it to number one. So make sure you put it number one so it can work for your car again.